Hello, my name is Zermis. Welcome back to Has Been Heroes. So I unlocked a new hero last time. It is this guy. Fortunately, you can't really get details on a hero until you get into the game. I had previously unlocked this bard, but his special ability seemed to be like a continuous healing, which isn't super helpful when I'm hardly taking any damage. I do want to try this new guy here though. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Ooh, it's now up to four regions I've got to defeat in order to uh, beat the boss, I guess. Welcome to the snowy forest. So I can kind of zigzag and hit most of these. Actually, I can probably hit all of them if I zigzag smartly. Uh, I do want to get battles because battles give me more gold. All right. Oh, I didn't even look at this dude. Okay, so he's got a lot of stamina. Uh, he clenched fist. He does a lot of damage. I think this is more damage than the previous warrior, and he has faster melee recharge. And casting any spell, it instantly recharges his melee attack, so he can do a ton of punches, it seems like. He also gets Thunder Strike. Buff next melee combo, deal 40 lightning damage, and remove 20 stamina. So it's got a colon there after buff next melee combo. I'm not sure if that means that if I buff the next melee combat, or maybe, oh I see. So this is going to make his next melee combo deal 40 damage and remove 20 stamina. Uh, we can go ahead and, well, let's see. Uh, let's do the double strike here. This guy's got seven, so I'll get to maybe test that on him. For now, I'm going to go ahead and move him up. Oh, so another thing I did learn from reading on the forums is if there's a thing called uh, backstab. So after someone has flown out here, if I move them into a different zone, they will hit all the guys on their way back. And that's what happened here. My monk punched this guy and did like a tiny little 8 bit of damage. I'm not exactly sure how much damage that does. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the rogue in the middle to deal with this, and then he'll deal with this. Uh, he's stunned. I'll go ahead and finish him off. And then see, this guy. these guys only took a little bit of damage. I'm not exactly sure how much the backstab damage does. Or how much damage backstabbing does. I do want to try the, the lightning on this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and use my rogue here. And then move my big dude. So also with the fist, casting a spell would immediately recharge this, but I want to test. Okay, so so he was immediately stunned for my single attack, and then I can attack with someone else, I guess. Okay, but it doesn't stun him and then do the damage. Oh, he woke up just in time to block. Nice. Uh, I better get my rogue up there then to finish dealing with him. Oh, he's going to get a hit on me. Oh, well. Wow, this guy does a ton of damage. Okay, so these guys are down to just one. So I'll probably send my rogue punch him. Oh, he's still alive. Well, my rogue can finish him off. Uh, this guy is still coming at me. I should probably freeze him. Oh, I can do a double strike. Uh, it's fine. Let's send the monk up top to deal with him. Alright, that, that, that way just gets this guy stunned. Everyone's going to be stunned. Well, I guess he's not quite going to be stunned yet. Got the two. The, so the crit definitely goes through. I should have probably froze him. There's a lot of guys down here I'm going to need to deal with. Uh, casting any spell. So if I cast this freeze, he will immediately recharge. Let's go ahead and do that here. Okay, clearly that's not the case. He has to cast the spell. Alright, that's fair. Uh, 
Um, a lot of dudes here. I think I better focus on this side first. My monk should be able to... Oh, not my monk. Oh, oh, these are the bandana guys, so that's why they're recharging so fast. Uh, let's go ahead and do the big hit just to... Whoops. Gotta pay attention. Rogue should be able to... This guy's gonna get an attack in, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave him there. Rogue should be able to finish off this. Hmm. Let's go ahead and come to the middle and stun this guy with my big warrior. And we'll just knock his stamina off with the monk. Although I do need the monk up here to deal with these guys. And I want the rogue down here. So this does extra damage, right? So I'm gonna I wanna cast his spells immediately after he attacks to get the best benefit. So I punch oops, punch there, then immediately cast this. Uh oh, there's another dude right after him. Right, so now Whoa, so lightning apparently chains. Uh he's got a lot of stamina still, but I'm gonna go ahead and freeze him. Oh, he didn't quite die from the from the rogue, which is unfortunate. Stun him, and then deal with him this way. Fortunately, this guy looks like he's going to get another hit in. I can try and see if my monk has just enough time. Just enough time. Oh, he just one shot him. All right, this guy is getting really close. Let's go ahead and. Sit. Oh, so since he punched him so close, he didn't even. He can't swap because he didn't move out. Um, I want my rogue down here to deal with this guy. I guess I can do the double fists on him and then have the rogue. Okay, so he comes to the middle. So now my rogue has to get down here to get this done. Oh, he's frozen. Nice. Oh, so because he was frozen, it completely bypassed his stamina, unfortunately. Alright, uh, you can finish off this guy on your own. <laughs> oh, he, but he didn't. He almost could. Oh, this guy's still here? Okay, I guess we're gonna freeze him again. Oh, casting the spell. Unpaused it and I couldn't do the swap. Uh, oh, just in time. Okay, good, he's frozen. Ah, uh, and I still can't swap. There we go, now I can swap. Oh, that wasn't a very far knockback. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead. Oh, I thunder strikes on cooldown. Oh, no, no. So, another thing is I can cast a free spell now, but this also counts as souls for unlocking at the end of the game. However, this guy's only going to do one hit. I can take the stamina loss. That's acceptable. I'm uh, almost available to do the double melee. Let's go ahead and get a punch on him first. And then, then I can stun him with this this attack. Oh, I can't move that though. Interesting. So what's going to happen when he bumps into me? Oh, he just automatically gets pushed back. Okay. Oh, he's running. Oh, I ran out of time. Okay, I played that. That was the first encounter, and I did that pretty poorly. Uh, so we've got a lock chest and an unlock chest. This guy's a little bit different to figure out how to play. A spell weaver, a spell vendor. Okay, so I can get that and then come around this way and then decide which way I want to go from there. There is a fight here. And there we go. I always want to give the spells to him, I think, because he's got... He's better at spells. So here's a new Enlightening Bolt. Bolts arc to nearby enemies. So if I can... 
figure out a way to get people moist, I guess it's called, or wet, then it's then I can do combos with the hitting them with the lightning. Another locked chest. Oh, that's garbage. Man, I don't like these early locked chest spawns if I can't even get keys yet. Maybe it'll be like a character that starts with keys. Oh, this is not a great initial start. Okay, so let's, uh... Man, these big dudes here are new and tough. So go ahead and start with that. Uh, I'm going to move him up here so that he gets a little swing on this guy, I guess, as he walks by. 10 HP. Uh, we're going to need another... I guess we'll use the monk to hit, hit this guy first. Uh, this this dude's like got little wussy hit points. Uh, let's go ahead and reset my attack so he can punch there. All right, punch and the double hit over here, and then the rogue can finish him off. So these guys, I'm still not exactly sure what they're doing. They're stealing my soul, so maybe I want to kill them so that they don't... I probably don't get those souls back. He's got six... Alright, I can do a double strike on him. Next time... Oh, he only has four. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and punch here so I can get the six to here. There, deal with that guy. I do want to get this guy first. Let's go ahead and get a freeze on him. And then I can just punch him with my big dude. It does he does like over half his health. Uh, we're gonna need a couple more combos on this dude. The plants are a less worry because they move slower than the rest of the, the skeletons. Finish him off. Rogue to the middle, Monk to the bottom. I'm gonna leave him. Oh, I could have done that. Should have done the double strike, but I missed it. That's okay. Uh, this guy has two left. That should finish off the plant. Yeah, so he's still in my souls. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm gonna punch him. Punching seems to be the correct answer to soul stealers. Okay, I think this is the last dude. Give him a good punch. There we go. So I'm really liking this game. Uh, it's real time. I mean, I normally I'm playing turn-based games, but since it's like pause feature, I can, you know, it's, it's, it's nearly a real-time game. I mean, it's nearly a turn-based game because I'm pausing all the time. Uh, I do like roguelikes a lot. Uh, one game that might be an interesting comparison is like Binding of Isaac. That, that, that's the kind of game that I've always wanted to be able to play. Uh, but the problem with Binding of Isaac is that I'm not very good at real-time games because I, I guess maybe I'm just a slower thinker or something but I need to oops oh my god I got frozen because of that bomb but I like the idea of having let's do oh he's frozen okay we'll just uh get anything. not good at thinking and talking at the same time I like the idea of having tons of unlocks and being able to like keep playing the game over and over in shorter gaming sessions, which is pretty cool. Although this one seems a lot longer than that game. Like, I've been pushing over an hour on these game sessions when I'm successful at least. Uh, this guy has no armor. He's wet, so let's go ahead and try this uh, electricity on this wet dude. So double damage, okay, that's pretty uh, impressive. Uh, I, oh, I want the cooldown. Uh, okay, we'll just freeze this dude. 
Unfortunately, you freeze them, and then you don't get the stamina decrease, but still getting, he gets punched by a big dude. Uh, oh, he doesn't get knocked back very far, which is unfortunate. Okay. So let's do the double on him now. Get the rogue down here to stun him, and then I can get the big punch. Monk here, rogue top. Get my big dude. Oh no. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter which of these guys he punches. Although, that's the one I preferred. Uh, this dude. Uh, my double strike is still on cooldown. Let's go ahead and get a stun on him then. Or a freeze on him. Although, this guy's almost dead too. Ooh, let's, okay, let's hold off a second. Four? Yeah, I'm just gonna freeze. I wish it didn't unpause after spells, because often there's like something I want to do right after the spell. Alright, so I got the <laughs> little bit of backstab on these guys. Is this dude almost dead? Oh, he's frozen. Interesting, so he got frozen too somehow? Oh no, he's just wet. That kills him off there though. Uh, this guy's getting really close. I guess I'll start punching him with the big dude because I need the uh, the three to deal with this guy. He's got multiples of three. I do have the double strike. Now I can finish this guy off. Here, uh, I think I'm just gonna use my rogue to do my roguey finish, and then I'm gonna. Lightning this dude, and then just wait until he punches again. Oh, <laughs> because <laughs> he's got the orb hanging from his head. There we go. All right, much better that time. I gotta kind of figure out these new these new enemies that have been showing up. We get a merchant. This is good. I did pick up that spell, right? Yeah, I was lighting. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, some teeth. <laughs> dentures or mechanical dentures or something. Uh, let's go ahead and give that to my wrestler guy. Regenerate two HP every five and increase critical hit chance. Uh, I guess I would have preferred that on my rogue, uh, so I can go up. If I go up first, then I can swing down and get everything on the way. Another merchant. Alright, now what do we got? Uh, potion. Ooh, two potions. Uh, let's go ahead and give this blue potion to my monk. It Faster spell recharge is good. Which means... Go ahead and get this one too. Oops! I guess my rogue's getting it. Increased critical hit chance and 50% chance to get lightning spells from any spell vendor. Well, the increased critical is good. I'm not sure if the lightning bonus is just for him. I guess it couldn't be, because, well, maybe it could? I don't know. Because one person, like, opens the vendor. Ooh, keys. Opens the ball and then someone else goes and actually grabs the spell. Uh, so, there's this mustachio one. <laughs> I wonder if that's like a... I think that might be a universal key. You just buy that one and you can open every chest ever. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab two keys, although unfortunately there's two locked chests way at the beginning. Oh, item gambler. Uh, I think it's 40 so I can get one shot at them. Can you watch it? Where'd it go? I uh, didn't quite follow it. I think it's... Was it some stompy boots? Um, go get the stompy boots. Oh, 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 okay, and I'm out of gold. Well, why does he tease me? I don't need gold, man. Water spell vendor can't can't buy anything, but I'll see if there's a battle up here. I can't remember. Yes, there is, and I do want gold. 
All right. So lots of multiples of two, unfortunately. Uh, so I guess we'll freeze this dude. And oh, this little bomby dude is going to be in the way. Oh, or I can just shoot it. Here we go. Here's a three guy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch that dude. My big guy has got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. He's almost. These guys are all almost dead. So let's just go there. Another three. You can stay there. Although this guy. I'm just gonna lightning him, I think. Yeah, that gets the kill. I should have moved my monk down. Oh, these guys are like almost dying from my one hits. Uh, so I am gonna use the rogue to finish him off. Oh, I gotta maybe think about if I can get a backstab in to finish off these guys that are almost dead. Plant coming up. Oh, what's that? Someone's coming. No, it's not one of these guys. Alright, let's go ahead and do a double here. On my guy, not his. Then the rogue can get him down. Punch. And then lightning me up to give me another punch. Although it, I wanted it to hit the other guy, but this will do. My rogue should be able to finish him off. Yep. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna wait till my rogue hits again so he can just hit this guy twice. Uh, actually, I'm just going to freeze him. And then my monk can attack this guy. Oh, he got back up. I forgot. Those bandana guys recover really fast. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. There's the stun. I'll send my rogue. I'm going to use my rogue with... Uh, double strike to take this guy down really easily. And, oh, he died. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just... No, nah, I'm just going to wait until he recharges and this dude's dead. Oh, no, it's the commando guy. Why do I just keep screwing that up? There we go. Now your stamina's gone. Now you can die. And then on to the first level boss. It is. Uh, I think I faced this dude before. I don't remember what he does. <laughs> Can't see what. Oh, he's got eight stats here. Is this a one-er? Um, I want to hit this guy twice. Okay, so let's. Here we go. I'm just gonna. Get a good first punch in, and then we'll nail him. I'm not sure. He, he's. I think he's the boss, so I just need to take him out, and then the rest of these guys will fall. This guy's kind of a pain here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit him once, and then get my rogue in there. And then, oh, he's going to get passed by this dude. How many does he have? He has a one? That's fine. Now I can get him out of here. And his stamina is now gone. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit the boss. Now he's getting up. Okay, so I'm going to do... That, and then there. 
go ahead and punch this guy once. I'll move the row top and this and then my monk will get the second second hit for a stun here. Uh, I want this thing dead. Let's go ahead and just zap it. Alright. You can just do some punching. Uh, all these guys with one stamina are pretty irritating to me. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to move my rogue to be fighting these guys. He can attack this, whatever it is. Oh, I need my rogue in the middle, actually. Uh, that's okay. I can, I can just freeze him. But I don't want to freeze him with this guy. So does damage go through when he's going to be frozen? Oh, I... It blocked him, but okay. So... Come on. There we go. So damage does not go do go through even if he is going to be frozen. I need my rogue in the middle, but I also like my rogue dealing with all these dudes. I think I'm going to just use my mark to get rid of these dudes. Oh, he died? Or oh, I got a crit. That's why. Okay. Uh, guy in the middle. I am going to use the double strike when the boss gets back in range. Let's go ahead and use... Get rid of this dude's stamina. I feel like just focusing down the boss is the correct strategy here. Okay. Oops, no. You're not my big hitter. There we go. Um, I can do a little knockback there. Hardly any damage, though. Oh, what I think I'm going to do is... Use my Thunder Strike on the Monk, and then he'll be able to take down his armor before before I go in with my big dude. Oh, and that does area effect. Okay, so this row of dudes in the middle is a little bit of a pain. I'll just get rid of this guy's stamina. This dude's almost dead. Oops. Uh oh. I'm gonna double strike to hit the boss. He's almost dead, so... If I can just finish him off, I think this uh, chain of skeletons will fall. I just gotta keep knocking them back. In fact, I can probably get a couple of them killed. Double kill. Nice. We want... My rogue to be in the middle. Well, my rogue can get a hit here, and then come to the middle. And then he'll be ready when the boss gets up front. Alright, come on, boss. There we go. Almost dead. In fact, I might just be able to... Oh, I missed! What? Did it get intercepted, or did I miss? I'm not sure. Uh, I want to do some switching here. Get my rogue to the middle. And... Yeah, just, just keep fighting in the middle until further notice. You can punch this dude down. Oh, he's only got two left, actually. So let's go ahead and move you here. My monk can deal with him. Well, wait, wait, get this done. And then here's the finishing board. Epic kill! Epic kill! So unfortunately, I can only get a total of 40 uh, souls for experience. Welcome to the vault. Okay, so I can get everything here by going north. I haven't gotten very many items and stuff, so I'm a little nervous. Positioning is pretty f poor for this initial one. So, move him here to double strike. Oh, there's this guy here too. Probably just freeze him. Uh, 
Oh, there's a super fast guy running. Get him killed. And then get the attack here. Monk's already in position. This guy's probably gonna need to get frozen. Oh, the zombie. Oh my gosh, zombie. Where'd it come from? We're gonna freeze the zombie. Uh, this guy's a little bit trouble. I'm gonna use my lightning to deal with him. Oh, tech zombie. Nice. Oh, good. Well, the top portion is gonna be back. Oh, I didn't move my rogue, unfortunately. Can you kill it? Oh, you can't quite kill it. How much has it got left? can't tell. It's almost dead, but my monk wouldn't have enough. Maybe I can just zap it here. There we go. Oh, but I forgot to move my dude into position. There, a little backstab action. Okay, so he should recharge just in time. Oh, actually I want him in the middle. I'll just go ahead and do a, a normal, I don't want to deal with this guy. I think I'll freeze him. Oh, get them positioned first. Otherwise it unpauses and I can't switch them. So next hit on him will be a big hit. Um, one can go top. This guy's too far back now, so I can't quite get the hit on him anyways. I wish I had some more spells on the on my wrestler so that I could get I could recharge him a little bit faster. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna hit this guy before the other dude gets in front, unfortunately. Just in time. This someone here is wet, so I wanna. Ugh, okay, this is getting pretty dangerous here. Let's go ahead and nail this dude. We need to get this guy stunned. These dudes are a real problem. Um, I want my. Boss man to punch here. I'm gonna go ahead. Freeze this guy. Is this dude healing? I think there might be a healer there. These guys are getting awfully close. Oh, we got a guy with four stamina coming up. That's that's uh, pretty bad. Oh no. Okay, so I'm gonna do a double strike on him. Just so we can knock this dude back. Although I needed the double strike for this guy, so that's unfortunate. My rogue should be able to finish off him. He gets the stun here. Okay, uh, my thunder strike is almost up, so I think I'm just gonna hope that that happens real soon. So there's that. Ugh. Oh, and it was too close that I don't get to swap. Okay, so I should be able to get... Oh, so we got... Uh oh He's gonna die if I don't get him out of there. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna attack with my rogue so I can do a swap. Okay, you get... Oh, he's getting hit? He can't move when he's getting hit? Oh, no, this is a disaster. So, where's his attack at? Is his, his attack at? his attack got reset. If I don't swap now, I'm not going to be able to. So he's got to move, and then he's out. Okay, even though that was a super crappy hit. He's got a ton of stamina, so he can... Oh! Is this off cooldown? Oh, my rogue's about to get hit, too. There we go. So, 
This will refresh my attack. Hit that guy. He's now stunned. This guy did his hit and got knocked back. Okay, so here we go. He should be able to attack him in time. As long as he's not moving too fast. There's a kill there. Oh, what? I guess the uh, the polearm has a longer range. Let's see, did I get any unlocks for for losing? Oh, I did. Oh, is this my my new my new character unlock? Nope. This is just uh, stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching.